Hey, welcome back. We're back with the beavers today in Timberborn, and we are going to get going on our little side colony that we've set up here. Our main colony is basically providing them a lot of stuff, so we'll want to get them standing on their own and get uh, something unique going on over here. So the first thing I think we're going to do is we are going to come down here. Let's take the road out this way and we are going to make a small area there oops we need the levees there we go we're going to go around the edge here and we are going to there we go grab this and let's put in you there you there and what we want to do here is We'll remove all the trees from this area, and then we'll replace it with mangroves. And we'll have this area be its own little, like, mangrove farm. Since we don't have a great one down below, it's having some problems here and there. Let's just toss in a lumberjack flag there. We will mark all of these trees to cut. There we go. And that should be the first thing that we get in here. I do really want to get this large tank in here so we won't have to worry too much about water problems. I think we're also going to put in, let's see, let's grab our, there it is, a forester. We're going to need that up here. Eventually, hopefully, we can get down and get to that whole area. In fact, you know what? Here's what I would really like to do. We'll put it, how about here? And then we'll put a ladder over the edge so that they can get down there and plant all of the mangrove trees that they're going to need. Now here, to get across, they are going to need some water. So let's go ahead and make a little area for that. This path here is kind of bugging me. It's it's all over the place. So let's plan to make a bridge here. And then we're just going to really delete this because we don't need that path in here. It's not going anywhere or doing us any favors, really. So we'll do that. Let's put in a path over to here. And we'll wait for that to be in. While we do that, let's clean up some other paths here. We don't really need this one. So let's do that. We'll plant our crops. There's our kohlrabi. We've got that going. We've got some trees in here. We've got beavers waiting on berries. So I think we're also going to set up to get rid of some of this area in here. Because we don't really need this little island outcropping there also let's go and grab a couple more ladders here they do work really well and we're gonna put something down here like this and then we're gonna start maybe some metal industry in here now let's see we're gonna do power we want our engines in here so we're gonna do two engines and then we're going to do metal. Let's get smelters. Two, three. Let's do four smelters. Why not? We'll put the power connections behind here. There we go. There's that. And then recently they fixed the vertical power shafts. So we're going to go ahead and grab some of these. There we go. Go from the straight power shaft to a vertical one. There we go. The vertical one up here. And then we're going to go from vertical back to straight. And we're going to pause these so those get built eventually. Let's take a path over there. Let's go straight across here. Nope, I don't like that. Let's go straight from here. And we'll go down this way. And I'm going to take this out of here. We'll put in three dynamite that we can take. Once we put the metal smelter back here, we'll have 
uh, power shafts under here that will let us put power in this area right here. So that's definitely going to take a minute too. Since we are going all in with uh, this being its own area, let's go ahead and get an extra pod here, and then we'll put we'll put one house here. And whenever we get done with this large tank, we'll remove this one and we'll put a second house in here. Since we're going to be getting more beavers over here, we'll go ahead and put in another pump. We'll need that eventually to help fill up this large tank anyway. And then the other thing that I think we're going to need is probably some more food. Now, all of the rest of the food needs to be prepared somehow, but we will figure that out when we get there. So we'll go ahead and put in some of these. There we go. And then the rest of this can all be for trees. So let's go ahead and just put in oaks here because we're going to need them to keep up with the two engines over there. So let's get rid of all of this. Before I put this in here, though, I would like... Let's go ahead and grab one of these. There we go. We'll grab a whole bunch of ladders. We'll put those in here. And then we will mark all of this stuff for demolition. And we'll figure out how to get down there and get to that metal after a while. But first thing we got to do is remove all that junk from down there. In anticipation of the all the extra stuff that we're going to have to be doing over here, I went ahead and transferred some from the main district, which doesn't still have a name yet. So if anybody's got a good name for that main district, let me know and we'll see what we can do. But that means we're definitely going to need shelter for them. So the big tank was built and we've taken the small one out. That ought to fill up eventually. We're going to go ahead and toss in a couple of bushes here just behind each of the buildings. And those can be of slightly lesser priority. There we go. Once those are in, we'll put the last building right here in front of it. Housing, put a large row house, put that right there. And I'm going to tell you that's the most important. So that now that should get built and then this will get built and we should have plenty of room for all our extra beavers let's go ahead and up the importance of this as well and now we should be set to go on a lot of different things here we got to wait for some of this to be actually built what i want to do though is not only have a place for mangroves here but i'd like to get a little bit of this green so i'm going to take landscaping and we're just going to come straight down this way we're not going to put in that one there until we get everything built we'll do that one here one here skip that one and go in there and what that'll do is we'll draw some water out down here hopefully make this whole area green we might make these too deep so that it uh, is resistant to the 30-day droughts since droughts can take up to uh 30 days on hard mode and after 22 days you generally lose one height worth of water through evaporation so making it too deep makes it pretty much uh drought proof unless you've set it up to higher this little area over here almost looks like it could be its own colony so we might start setting up some of the uh the the nicer things that they're going to need to be a colony if we should ever choose to go that way like water storage we are definitely going to need that let's put you here we have got water there we're going to need somebody to actually get them water so we're going to put those in here and then we're going to go and grab water pumps that should sit right on there without too much problem there we go that looks good now if there were still the mod that had the two level uh single block storage i would probably put them in there but i don't think that one's been fixed yet so i haven't quite picked it up i could probably put in a bunch of single level there 
And that would not be too bad. We might come back to that, though, eventually. With the way I've got this dynamite set up, we are going to have to remove this metal here. So we're going to go ahead and get in our scavenger flags to get those removed. Because now they can't be deleted, really. You have to scavenge them. I think that was a recent change. But that's not terrible. It just makes uh, things a little difficult sometimes. We've got some of the dynamite placed here. And we've still got one block to blow up just in case the cycle ends before we can get it in. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put a single level floodgate that's there. And then we're going to connect this path back in here. And hopefully that should allow... Well, once that's built, that should allow them to work on this area in here. If not, we'll move this around until we get a good place for it. Looks like they got that in pretty quick. So I went ahead and blew up that last block. We'll go ahead and put in some of these across here. And maybe that'll give them a little bit more range to get some of these trees down here. But really what we want is we're going to put in two here. You know, we're going to put one in maybe over here. There we go. We'll get a second set of steps. And let's go around the side here, connect into you, and we will go with gather a flag on each. And then we will tell them to plant mangroves once we remove this road, of course. There we go. Yep. Don't need that. And now we have mangrove. Plant all of this in here. And... We'll fill this up just as the uh, the water comes to it. Now that we have all of this installed, we're going to go ahead and fill up this area. And hopefully we can get to planting some of these mangroves in here. We'll just fill it up a little bit. We might set this gate to automatic at some point. Hopefully that keeps the mangroves Good to go. Let's see. We will do... We'll try and fill it all the way up, at least. There we go. That should be good enough. And over here, let's go ahead and put in... our stream gauge. We'll just put that right there. It should be just fine right there. And we'll link that back over to this gate here before too long. I've been thinking for a while that this little island right here is kind of in the way. So we're going to go ahead and get it blown up as well. That might take a bit, but that's okay. We've got plenty of time here. We did manage to get the dynamite laid here. So thanks to the vertical shaft mod here, we're going to go ahead and just put a couple of these in. We'll put one horizontal to connect them in. And then we'll go ahead and put our smelter back in. Let's go ahead and cover this up. There we go. Oops. There we go. And now, when they build all of this, in fact, let's have them build this one first. The power should go underneath the road here, just using that one little block. If we work our canal down this way, we can go ahead and put in some of this infrastructure that we're going to need here. So let's take and put in another floodgate right here at the bottom. However, on these, I think I'm going to take those out. And for right now, I think we're just going to do dams to keep them in. There we go. Put that in. Put that in. And that should be good. They're going to have to remove all this metal here before we can get too much farther, though. Get rid of those and those and this. Put in a dynamite here for each of them. And then we're going to come back and we're going to make this trench double deep. Because, like I said, that should make it drought proof. Back over here in the other corner, I think, just in case we're going to once again make this... a own district at some point they're going to need some kind of well-being items as well so what i'm going to do here is we're going to drop a campfire right there for them 
we're going to put a terrace up here for them. And then we're going to grab, let's see, we're going to do the decoration. No, let's do the metal stair. I think you get a bonus with that. There we go. We'll do the metal stair there. We'll do, let's see, we'll do the roof, we'll do small roofs here, and then we'll do bushes on either side. And that will give them a little bit more places to relax over here. While we're looking at this, let's go ahead and put in a couple of the showers for well-being. There we go. Put those two up there. Should be able to get to that without too much problem whatsoever. In fact, we could probably also put in... Let's get rid of that for just a second. Go to well-being. We'll put in a Lido. We'll put in... Oops. Nope. It won't go right on top of there, will it? We're going to have to put in a couple more of these. There's four there. There's four here. Let's see... Grab that well-being again. There we go. Not the shower, not the medical bed. We want Lido. There we go. And that will give the beavers a pretty good uh, year-round source of wet fur. This does go down during the very end of the drought, but it'll be okay, I think. I think I'm going to do some fixing of the roads down here as well. Let's go ahead and get in maybe a small bridge here. There we go. And then this can be taken out because we won't really need it. And we will take out that as well. Let's go ahead. Well-being, let's put in a temple up here. I think this one should have a nice view as well. Maybe not as nice as our one in our main colony over there, but I think pretty good. With this district holding so much of our metal production here, or at least it will hold quite a bit of it, I think we better go ahead and put in the storage for it. So let's grab the industrial pile here that we're going to need. We're going to put one here. We're going to do one there. One there, and one there. These bottom floors can be for scrap metal. The top ones can be for our metal blocks. And hopefully it's able to fill all of that up and just send it out to other colonies, or other districts, I guess. I noticed with this large mangrove producing facility, we don't really have any place to store mangroves, so we're just going to go ahead Get a large warehouse and set that for mangroves. That way, whenever all of this gets done and they actually start bringing these in, they'll be able to fill this out, and then we can use that as kind of a place to send them out from the district crossings. It seems we came across a slight problem here. This evaporated a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to, so... What we're going to do is go ahead and remove some of this. I'm very surprised. It definitely has not been the normal amount of time. I guess I didn't get this full enough, maybe, but that's okay. What we'll do is we'll come in here. We will drop a water dump. There we go. And we'll set that to the very highest. And we'll see if we can save our mangrove trees here. We're needing ever more and more beavers over here, so let's go ahead and toss in a couple more of these large barracks. We're going to do that right about there. Let's see where this goes to. Yep, that'll go right in there, just like that. Once these get connected in, we can actually put stuff on top of there if we want to. Let's see. We're going to come over and... We can save that for storage for food or various other things that we might need. We're going to go ahead and try and connect this road down here, if for no other reason than to give this forester the ability to plant some of the mangroves down here as well. So I think for that we're going to need, looks like a two. Yep, we'll put a two there, and we'll actually put twos all the way across. There we go. And then we're just going to do ladders down. Ladder, ladder, there we go. 
that can go through there, this can go through there, and that should extend their range quite a bit. And hopefully let them plant some of these mangroves that keep uh, having a hard time down here. Looks like we've got our metal industry started over here, so let's go ahead and unpause those. Now, we did toss in a couple more breeding pods to hopefully keep our population a little bit higher. I think we're going to need another place to get water, and I think we're going to try and pull it from the main source down here. So what we're going to do, let's see, we'll fill in these, those, and then back to this. There we go. Now we just got to, we'll put in three pumps here so that we, we can be pulling from that all the time. That's not a hugely important deal whether we get it in or not, though. Now over here, we've got most of the trench in. We're just having to get the rest of this metal out of the way before we can do really much else with it. However, our mangroves are looking pretty good, and we were able to attach our stream gauge over here. So hopefully this stays at a decent height, and we can just bring in our mangrove fruits really quickly and then send them back out as we get them. Over here, we're going to go ahead and put our ladder in that will get us, well, not ladder. We're going to do, we're going to do this. We're going to make stairs all the way around just like normal. We'll go here and then here and we need the two here. There we go. And then from here, it's some twos. And, uh, oops, nope, gonna need a three there, aren't I? Here's the three for it. There we go. And then we'll do threes all the way around. Where's this last? That is the last one. Okay, so we don't really need those last two. Let's do stairs here. And stairs here. There we go. Now we just watch it go all the way up here. And there's even a shortcut along the dam. Not too bad. I'm still trying to avoid taking from this water here. But if it gets to the point where we are just not getting it, getting through our droughts, I think we'll, uh, we'll put a pump or two in there as well. Since I think the only place that I really want this metal removed will be probably here. Uh, this looks better when it's cleaned up, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. We will go ahead, we will make a ladder so that that can be removed. And then we will find a way to get this metal out of here. But I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do that yet. With that... We're now able to basically fill up this whole area and keep most of this green for a large portion of our, our drought. So I think we're good there. We've made this wonderful uh, fruit farm, this mangrove fruit farm, and we have got our metal production up and going. We've made some pretty good strides in this colony. So I think we're going to call it there. Next time, I think we're going to focus maybe on this area and maybe getting some golems back in our falls colony. We might separate this out. We might not. We'll have to see how that goes. But just want to say thank you very much for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!